Aloha friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make a carnivore souffle. Super delicious. I mean, it sounds intimidating, but don't be intimidated. It's going to be really good. You're going to want to eat it right away because the souffle is going to fall if you let it sit. It's still going to be good, but you're going to want to try this anyway. So get your ovens on to 350 and get four eggs ready because you're going to want to make this. Okay, my friends, to start, you want four ramekins. Uh, these are six ounce ramekins and I'm going to use some tallow here and I'm just going to grease them. You could use their, they have a tallow spray, I believe. Um, just want a nice layer of greasing. I really love their spray, I'm just out of it. And I love these little staub ones, but I only have two. They were so generous, they gave them to me. Love, love, love them. Use them all the time. And again, you want your oven on to 350. And you can use pretty much whatever cheese you want. You want a nice melty type cheese like a Swiss. Um, I am using uh, like a soft Gouda. So that's what that's, and I'm gonna set this aside. Now, you want two large bowls, okay? And what we're gonna do, we want four eggs, and I wanna make sure my hands don't have that grease on it because if you do, then the whites won't whip as well. Fat, water, the, 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 um, the whites won't whip well. So one bowl, you're gonna have the yolks, one bowl will have the whites. So we will have the whites in here. You wanna make sure to not get any yolks in there. These eggs are from my neighbor, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel, for the delicious eggs. There we go. And give a shout out to Kai. Tell Kai that you want to see him in the videos more. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard because he has classes. Oh, I almost put the yolk in there. Yikes. There we go. Try to get all that white in there. And sometimes if you look, you'll have more whites in the shell that you can kind of spoon out with your finger if you want to. All right, and four. Okay, yeah, kind of like that. See, oh man, I should have been doing it to all of them. Love it came out. Now, in the yolks, I'm going to whip them for about 30 seconds just for them to get nice and soft. That's probably enough. You just wanna kinda mix them well. And then into that, we are gonna add a fourth of a cup of unflavored gelatin, and we're using further food. They are so generous. If you use code Maria Mind Body, you save on every order, not just your first order. So I'm gonna add that. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of the further food gelatin. There we go. Love that stuff. I use it all the time. And then you have some options. You could either add salt or fish sauce. Okay, fish sauce adds a lot of umami. I really like that, so just like a little teaspoon. Fish sauce is also very salty, so you usually don't have to um, add too much of that if you don't use the salt. Now we're gonna add two ounces of freshly shredded uh, Guerrero cheese or Swiss cheese, uh, Gouda, you name it and we are gonna mix that well. Okay. Now, on here, we have a lot of fatty yolks, right? So I'm gonna clean them before I whip the whites, okay? So I'm gonna clean them and I'll catch you back in a little bit. Okay, friends, since there was water on these, I wanna make sure to wipe them very, very dry before whipping the whites. And if you do have a difficulty with whites whipping knots very well, whether you use the my carnivore bread or the Hawaiian rolls where you whip the egg whites and they just don't whip, feel free to add cream of tartar. I'm gonna have that in the recipe because it always helps the egg whites stiffen better. Um, I do have some, but I'm not adding it just to show you that you can whip them without it. 
Um, and yeah, let's go. Ta-da! Okay, I'm a huge fan of Julia Child. I do not know how she did this without a mixer. Like she would just, I don't know. Impressive, right? So now I'm gonna add the, the mixture into the whites or the whites into the yolk mixture. That's what I'll do. And you want to try to not have the whites fall as you mix it. Okay. Now we're just going to stir that together. And then divide the mixture into the four ramekins. And then wake up Kai. <laughs> He's not in class right now. He's actually sleeping. Then wake up Kai so he can be ready to do a taste test when they come out. All right. We were actually watching, uh, I think it was Hell's Kitchen or Master Chef, one of those. And they were uh, making souffles. And he's like, oh, mom, have you done that? I was like, yes, I have. Because they were talking about how hard it is to make a souffle. So just divide that up, toss it into the oven, and be ready with a spoon to devour. I think this is a great dessert. Um, just got back from France, and on every dessert menu, there was always cheese, a cheese course, which I thought was fantastic. They actually also had it on all the breakfast menus too, the cheese course, cheese and meat platter. I thought was awesome. It's very easy, I think, to eat carnivore on vacation. But I suppose it, it's easier if you're not tempted. All right, so now place these in the oven. The full recipe will be in the link below so you don't have to take notes. We'll catch you back for Kai's taste test. Okay, my friends, it's been 15 minutes and Ta-da! They look perfect. I can't wait to try them. Good morning, Kai. How are you? Good. A little sleepy? Sleepy, sleepy? Uh, just a little bit. Okay, so how does Gordon Ramsay eat the souffle? You crack it? No, remember he like digs it around oh, yeah. the circle? Or was that Joe? That's how Joe, it was Master Chef. Yeah. He takes like a center, piece out of the center. There you go. Ooh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be very hot. What do you think? That's really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, one through ten. I'm going to rate this a nine. Nine? Oh, my gosh. I've never gotten a ten, people. Let's just, like, be clear about that. And, Kai, do you realize this is made with eggs? It's eggs and cheese. Yay! So for a nine, that's awesome, people. What do you want to tell people? Cook with your kids. Mahalo, everybody. Mahalo. When I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with PCOS, acid reflux, depression, and IBS. Instead of taking those prescription drugs, I decided to change my life with food. Yes, food healed me, and it's healed so many of my clients over the past 20 years of working with people. If you are interested in transforming your life, check out ketomaria.com. I'd be honored to help you.